Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. God, it feels good to say that. This video is going to be an updated video about how to do keyword research for a blog post website. I do have an entire series coming very, very soon on how to set up a website from scratch. But unfortunately, one of, well, the sponsor is currently not responding to me. I'm not too bothered about sponsors, but if I'm going to spend probably 50 hours or so making a course, I do want it to have a sponsor, okay? And the sponsor is going to be the tool that I use for hosting anyway, so yeah. But for now, let's just talk about keywords, and I want to talk specifically about the keyword tool on, so Google Ads Keyword Planner, which has been updated, ladies and gentlemen, which is an amazing thing to see. It's actually got, or gotten, even more powerful. So this is Google Ads Keyword Planner. You may or may not be familiar with this. If you do not know how to get to this screen here, there will be a video in the description that will show you exactly how to set it up. However, once you're on this screen, what you wanna do is you wanna click on Discover New Keywords. And we're gonna type in English here, and we're gonna put you, we're gonna remove Italy actually, and we're gonna put United States. This current keyword method is by far the best way to get quick traffic on a website. Whether that's a new website, an old website, it really doesn't matter. This is literally the best way to find keywords right now. So what you want to do is you want to break your topic into really, really broad terms, okay? So for example, I am in the fashion niche or the men's fashion niche. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in male fashion, male style, men fashion, men style, men clothes, male clothes, okay? What this does is it puts all of your niche into one easy to digest format for Google or for the keyword tool. And let's actually have a look at what's changed in the keyword tool that makes it so good right now. So the first thing is you can actually see like the overall amount of traffic that you can expect if you were number one for every single keyword in this niche. So it's 30 million, 20 million. The niche is pretty big, as you can see, okay? Another thing you can do, which you could always do, is you can refine the keywords. So let's say you are not selling any brands. So you could, for example, remove brands from your keywords. I'm not going to do that because we sell brands, okay? But just in case you wanted to do that, that's how you do it. Another thing that you can do is you can click on keyword view. We'll talk about that actually, uh, after actually, but you can click on keyword view and you can put it on grouped view. I'll talk about the relevance of that a little bit later. This is the new Google Ads Keyword Planner. These lines here, I've never seen before, okay? I saw them on one YouTube video once. I had no idea how they got to that point. And then I think it's something to do with my other Google Ads account being banned for some reason, that even though I've paid the amount of money they told me to pay. I have no idea what's going on with that, okay? But for some reason, this has this Google Ads Keyword Planner has this line here, and my other one doesn't. I still like to do the exact same thing, but before I do that, I like to just see if there's any others that are relevant to our business. High fashion is incredibly relevant to our business. So I'm going to put it on. And also men's store, I may as well add it just to get a few more keywords. Right now, you can be finished with this process already. Okay, and you can just click download. Uh, let's download it as a Google Sheet. Let's download it. And then that's the report done. You've now completed your keyword research. Move on to the next point. Or what you can do is you can look for one specific blog post that you want to write. And this is what I've been doing recently. You've got two options. You can do year on year change or three month change. In my opinion, three month change is much, much, much better. Let's just quickly open this so we can see. You can see here that there's a huge amount of keywords here and you can very easily format this into a nicer format or whatever it might be. You can also just send this to a client and people will pay for this because they don't know how to get it themselves, okay? So you can offer to do keyword research for someone and you can just literally send them this, which took me a few minutes to make and you're done already. So what we're gonna be doing instead is we're gonna be looking at the three month change and we're gonna zip past the infinites because I actually don't care about the infinites. Although I will say, I will say 
that potentially in the future, these infinites might be huge keywords, okay? Because what infinite ac actually means... Okay, so this symbol infinite... Whatever, it's an eight. Okay, this symbol infinite means that it was zero and now uh, three months ago, okay? Nobody was searching for it. But now, I guess it's, it's one or more, okay? But this is how trends are born. You have to realize this, okay? So, for example, I just saw a really interesting keyword for me, which is shorts with a uh, blazer with shorts. So for me already, this is a really good example of an article that in a few months might be popping. Okay. I really don't know. It's very hard to say because you can see as well, year on year change is minus 67, which means it previously was a good keyword, but now it's probably not such a good keyword. Okay. So you have to be very, very careful with the infinites. So what I actually like to do is I like to scroll past all of the infinites and I like to go to the big ones. So Gentswear, it only has 20 searches a month, but look at that curve. Plus 1,600%. I would say in a few months, who knows, Gentswear could be a keyword with 1,000 searches per month, okay? So the really important thing to know is that if you get on a trend, okay, at the beginning of that trend, and I have done this before, using the exact logic that I'm showing you in this video, this is how I found the absolutely insane keyword that I have on um, on two men, okay? If this is one of the first videos you're watching of me, I should probably explain. I work as a professional SEO for this company here, and the way that I found one of our best keywords, like literally our best um, keyword, our best focus keyword, which is such a huge proportion of the traffic, uh, it was actually using this method that I'm showing you right now. So what I noticed was that the keyword old money was, it was like plus 1000%, okay? But it still only had a very small amount of searches every month. And then you know what happened? Old money brands. Guess who picked up on it? TikTok. Old money aesthetic. It was picked off, it was picked up by TikTok and it completely exploded into this ginormous thing where even now you can see videos talking about this on TikTok all the time, also on YouTube Shorts, okay? You can see that it looks like it's been trending down a bit. That could just be because of the article. It's really, really hard to say whether it's the article or the trend that's going. But this is where you find the most gold, okay? You can do one of two things. You can look for things that are just beginning to peak or just beginning to pop off, like gents wear male Valentine's Day outfits. I don't know why that would be... Why would that be... Okay, whatever. Jean pant new style, maybe. Summer formal attire for men. This is a really good keyword, okay? The reason this is such a good keyword, okay, is because it is going to do this process here, okay? So you can see it's going up and then it's going down. And this is, let's say this is March. What do you think is going to happen to a keyword about summer? It's going to do that, okay? So this is a really, really good keyword for me personally. Summer formal attire male. Again, I'm just talking about my niche because I, it, it's the one that I know the most about, okay? All you need to do is take what you're seeing in this video and apply it to your niche. And it's very, very easy. You just need to think of broad keywords to do with your niche, okay? Put them here, put by three month change, and then look through for the gold. Men's Easter outfit. Again, when is Easter? When is Easter in the... I have no idea when Easter is. Sunday, the... Sunday April the 9th, okay? So we've got one month of potentially really, really good traffic with men's Easter outfit, okay? You can send people to an affiliate website. You can send people to, I don't know, uh, you can put display ads. You can monetize in many different ways. The point is, once you have traffic, you can then monetize. And this is a really, really good way to pick up quick, easy wins. Look at the range on this bid, 0.15, 1.43. That's incredibly low. What does that mean? It means it's not that competitive, okay? 
It says it's high competition. I really highly doubt this is a highly competitive keyword. One quick and easy way you can tell that is by doing all in title men's Easter outfit. As you can see, 213 results. That's incredibly low. That's insanely low. So what did I do today while I was at work? I did, dun, dun, dun. It hasn't been indexed yet. I created a new collection uh, on two men, which was Easter outfits, okay? And then I did something really interesting, which I'm, I may as well talk about in this video, to be honest with you. What I did was I noticed that JC Penny was creating all of these different pages, okay? Like Easter shops, women's Easter outfits, Easter dresses for women, Easter, 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 Easter. So what did I do? I created a load of two men collections that pretty much just copied JC Penny, but they were all about men, obviously, instead of women, because we mainly sell men's clothes. We do actually have some women's clothes, finally. Um, but what did I do? I just copied their logic, okay? There are some amazing keywords here. Okay, really amazing keywords. Wedding guest, men's style. Only 30 searches a month, but could definitely grow. But then we get to things like men's spring fashion and then men's spring jacket. That is a good keyword. That is a really good keyword for me. Men's spring jackets. This is exactly the kind of thing that we sell on two men. This would be... Is it just me? Or is there no bicycle there? This would be like one of the best keywords I could get, okay? And how do they do it? Collection, collection or search result page, blog post, blog post, collection, collection, blog post. Okay, so this is an essential part of keyword research. You find a keyword, you find out what Google is ranking for that keyword, and then you do them both. You might be tempted to only write a blog or to only create a collection. That is a mistake. You need to do both. You do not know, this is such an important part of SEO, you don't know what Google will rank, okay? You just have no idea what Google is actually going to rank. So this is actually a follow-up video to the one that I made recently about keyword research. This is more for when you have all of the amazing uh, informational stuff. This is where to find amazing keywords to get quick wins. Okay. So again, I'm just going to keep searching them on Google, seeing what comes, uh, seeing, seeing what uh, happens, what's on the S E R P Pinterest. That's good. G Q. They're honestly one of the biggest competitors that I have. Uh, the essential man fashion beams, Nordstrom, H and M British, British G Q. This is a page that I would like to get on, but I am not here, unfortunately. If I go to page two, I might already be here for an article that I wrote. I am not. Okay, so this is disappointing for me. I would have expected to have been here. What most people are tempted to do is just put it on average monthly searches and then just write those articles. I, I completely disagree with that approach, okay? Let me show you why. Let's take a bad keyword or bad in inverted commas, like summer wedding outfit male, okay? What people fail to understand, and they do this repeatedly, they keep writing to me, oh, but this only has 110 searches per month, and therefore it's a bad keyword. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about, honestly. Let me show you why you don't know what you're talking about. Go on tools and settings again. Let's just open up the keyword manager again. The reason I'm doing like it like this is because I don't want to lose um, this. <laughs> basically, because it's actually really, really helpful for me. So we'll just set it up again. You can do this instead of um, losing any of the progress you might have made so far. So let's just make a new tab. And I'm going to search summer wedding outfits for men. As you can see, there are 42 keywords, okay? And one of them has 5,400 searches per month. And all it does is use one word different. This is what SEO is in a nutshell, okay? People think that SEO is this keyword. It's not. SEO is all of these keywords combined into an article. And how can we do that very quickly and easily? We can click here, copy this, go to ChatGTP, hopefully four. If it's up, it is up. New chat. Where is my ChatGPT4? It's gone. 
Okay, so obviously uh, ChatGPT is down, but what you can do is you can say, please write me an article using these keywords. You can literally just give it the keywords. And then at the end of that, you can say, please use these brands. And you could do like HTTPS, oops, two men dot it slash collections slash kit on and then et cetera, et cetera. Okay. This is how I do my articles. Um, I give it the keywords from Google ads, uh, Google ads. I give it my brands, my collections, how I want it to talk about everything. And then I just press enter, but obviously it's not working right now, which is annoying, but also it's not really necessary for this video. You can also just do the same thing manually. You don't necessarily have to use chat GPT. I just find that it saves me a lot of time and a lot of effort. So again, this is a really huge keyword right now. I don't think we really sell much African attire. Uh, maybe like Zilli silk shirts, Zilli silk shirts. I guess we kind of do a lot of African people. They really like these silk shirts. So you could probably work that in if you wanted, but that is a huge trend. Okay. If we were selling African goods, then yeah, that that's, just, it's a massive, massive increase. Look at that. So definitely you can find gold in any niche. Okay. I don't know what people are selling. Obviously I'm just here making the videos, but there is something for everyone using this method. Just get a load of keywords that are broad, put them here, put United States, put English, sort by three months, and then slowly but surely make a list. I've just seen a really good keyword. And then once you find a really interesting keyword like this, it's definitely worth um, searching it on Google Ads like this to see... To, just to kind of see how much the overall volume would be for that keyword if you ranked number one. For all of these keywords, you'd probably be getting about a thousand clicks a month at the moment. But who knows what's going to happen when this keyword, for example, let's say it pops off and it trends, etc., etc. That's the end of this video, guys. I really wanted to talk about my little method that I've been working on for a while. I've made similar videos to this, but I think this is the most comprehensive video I've made. Oh, oh my God, that's an amazing keyword. <laughs> Sorry, I got, I got distracted, guys. That's such a good keyword for me. Someone flamed me for saying guys a lot, so I'm sorry for saying guys a lot. In England, in Britain, in Yorkshire, we use the word guys to mean uh, people, okay? I'm not just saying guys as in men. Guys in Yorkshire means people, okay? So please don't flame me for that. It's just the way that we speak in where I'm from. Uh, I'm going to quickly save that keyword because that's such a good keyword. And that's it, guys. That's the end of this video. I really hope this helps you find some amazing, beautiful keywords. And I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out.